Hi guys, Stephen from James Glen Car Sales and today we've got a 2019 VW Golf GTI TCR. Um, it's finished in white, it's got TCR specific interior, it's covered 38,000 miles with a three owners and a full VW service history. Uh, so let's get a look around. As with all our stock, this vehicle was bought in through our in-house car buying service. We won't buy anycar.com. If you've got something similar and you're looking to move it on and you're looking for evaluation, we would be delighted to hear from you. You can submit details of your car via the link in the description below. Um, just some basic details and we will come back to you with evaluation. Um, as you can see in the background, we generally specialise in sports and prestige vehicles. So if it's something similar, please do get in touch. Uh, so, the Golf TT TCR, um, as you can see, has been through our uh, quite intense detailing process. All the cars here are fully machine polished, and this is after they go to an independent workshop where they put through an 82 point pre sale inspection. The MOT is renewed, and if any servicing work is required within 3,000 miles, that's brought up to date as well. The last service, however, was carried out by VW in January this year, so servicing is all up to date. Um, so, all that was required was the renewal of the car's MOT. So now let's get a look, closer look at the car's condition. Uh, so as we can see in front of the car, we normally pick up the majority of commensurate wear and tear. is looking exceptionally clean. Uh, we take the car about, so the car, we take the camera about a foot to foot and a half away from the bodywork. Uh, any closer than that, we do start to lose focus, but as you can see, the paintwork is in really, really good condition. Same applies to the light lenses and also the, the front bumper as well. There is the odd, very, very, very tiny um, stone chip, but I'd be struggling to pick, you know, to get them to uh, uh, come up in the screen, to be honest. But uh, if you were here in person, I don't think you're going to look any closer than 12 inches from the paintwork. So, as I say, from a start, from a regular um, viewing angle, you can see that it's, it is pretty much immaculate. So, looking down the passenger side of the car, uh, there is absolutely no parking density report, but we'll look at the passenger side from the other angle in a moment. The car has got a matching set of Bridgestone Premium tyres. Uh, being a TCR, it's got the larger brake discs which are drilled. Uh, having driven the car myself, the brakes are very, very uh, strong and perform very well. Got the bright red uh, GTI brake caliper there as well, which again is the larger item from the performance pack car. And the alloy wheel um, is in excellent condition with no damage. The TCR also has the black gloss black extended sill and also the, the, the smaller um, decal pack with the TCR model designation just on the bottom of the rear door. Looking down the passenger side from the rear, again, we can see that there is no damage, no parking density report. We can also get a good look at that rear bumper with the TCR specific uh, rear apron and the twin exit exhaust as well. Taking a look at the interior from the passenger side, we can see from this angle that the driver's seat is in excellent condition. Add the same for the passenger seat. The Mark 7.5 comes with the nice TFT display as standard and the, the newer style navigation, which is all nice and glossy, very iPad like. Just taking a look at the usual wear points, entry plates, um, which has also got. Uh, the little illumination stripe on it as well, which carries over onto the door cards. And the TCR also has the Alcantara inset inlays in, that, in the door cards. And looking across the back bench, uh, we can see that it's all in good shape and the rear of the front seats are in good order as well. No excessive marks or, kick, or chip marks on the, uh, on the, the door apertures with the kids getting in and out the back. In excellent order. Moving around from the rear, got the darker tail lamps, the TCR again uh, repeated on the tail on the on the boot lid, and you can see just how uh, much more aggressive the TCR rear diffuser is. And you've also got um, fins on the the centre section of the rear diffuser as well. Uh, this car does have an Ottinger aftermarket rear spoiler, which looks pretty cool. Looks very OEM. Fit and finish is of a good quality as well. Sixty forty fold, sixty forty split rear seat. 
Uh, and we've also got a space saver wheel in this one as well. So looking down the driver's side of the car, picking up the reflections of the light coming in the windows there, we can see that there is absolutely no damage or parking dents. Offside rear wheel free from damage. And on a Bridgestone tyre as well. Oh, sorry guys, I think they forgot that the rear alloy on this side. Beg your pardon. As you can see, that's all free from damage. We shall carry on round the other side now. We peek in from the other side because it was quite dark when we were looking in. Um, from the other side, this isn't much better. So that's coming across okay guys there's nice and clean and rear seating area and door card and entry plate all free of damage so working my way down to the front of the drivers we got a look down the length of the car again and uh, just confirm that there's no parking dents or scratches and we can take a closer look at the front bumper as well morning Final alloy wheel again, free of any damage, uh, brake discs and everything all in good shape. Quite a big disc on, on these, it's carried over from the performance pack, as I mentioned earlier, and it's nice to see the brick, red brake caliper nice and bright as well. The car does have keyless entry, as well as power fold mirrors which are heated. The rest of it's all standard. Again, this is nice with the red pinstripe that it lights up, along with the entry plate along the driver's door entry, rear bolster and base all in good shape and if we can compare it with the passenger side we can see that they're both wearing equally. Driver steering wheel nice with the red top band, centre band and if we look all the way around the uh, outside of the steering wheel we can see that it's all in good order and no excessive wear up at this area here which you can tend to find. Uh, push button start, uh, car is DSG, all TCI models are DSG um, which runs through a locking front differential uh, There's quite a few other technical changes which um, I discussed in the full video But I'll put the link to the road test at the end of this uh, general walk round video So let's get it started Close the door Nice start up procedure, procedure there Uh, so as per all Mark 7, Mark 7 halves, they have adaptive cruise, which is a nice feature. But what I did also notice as well is um, when you're in traffic and the car starts stop has kicked in, when the car moves away, the car detects that and it starts the engine before you've even released your foot off the brake, which I thought was pretty, pretty smooth. Um, so really, really nice infotainment um, with the latest discovery, or sorry, the more updated discovery navigation on the seven and a half. Uh, you've got Apple CarPlay which does need a phone connection and you've got your navigation there as well. Uh, that can then also be displayed up on the dashboard. You can configure this to um, display the information that you choose. Uh, you've also got your heated seats here as well as long as well as your, your dual zone climate control. Uh, driving modes um, are selected here. You've got normal, sport and then if you want you can tailor it to your individual requirements and then you also have your Eco Pro mode as well. Two cup holders, extended storage under the armrest which is also adjustable and then you've got a non-smoking pack so there's no ashtray, just an extended cubby and your USB socket in there. We'll get the window down, put the car into sport um, and give it a wee rev, let you hear what it sounds like. Uh, the car is cold so I'll not rev it too hard but it's very very eager I have to say. Um, 290 horsepower and on the and on the road test, uh, it performed very, very well. So now we'll um, switch that off, pop the bonnet, and let you have a look at the engine bay. Hello, Spencer. Uh, so it's a two litre um, turbocharged engine, the, the general, the, the normal performance pack car produces 245-ish horsepower, these are 290, so it is quite a substantial uplift, um, it's got additional cooling from the, the Golf R 
as well um, and as I say it runs through a locking differential on the front so it does put the power down very well. Um, great car to drive but to be fair all Joke Golf GTIs are very hard to, to fault. Uh, but nice clean engine bay, everything in its place and a completely standard car. Uh, that brings us to the end of the video guys, I hope you found that useful. If we can help at all, please feel free to get in touch. You can reach us at the garage on 01236 779000. There's also a link in the description below to this actual car where you can click on it. That'll take you through the website and you can send us an inquiry. Always happy to take your current car and part exchange or if you'd like a fans quotation, we can help out with, with that as well. As you're looking at Golf GTI online, um, I will put a link to the review of this actual car just up here. I hope you like it. And also, if you would like to consider subscribing to the channel, that way you'll not miss any more stock updates or any more up and coming road tests. And you can do that by clicking this button here. Thanks very much, guys. My name is Stephen, and I'll see you in the next video.